All VHF antennas need a VHF antenna mount, and there are a couple of different styles to choose from. The most common is to use something like this inexpensive lift and lay mount. This allows you, with, by throwing this lever, to flip the antenna down for trailering or for stowage, maybe putting a boat cover on it, or for going under a bridge. So very inexpensive. In general, the nylon mount works pretty darn well, but if you want a stronger mount, you can get similar mounts that are made out of either chrome over bronze or stainless steel. An alternative, this is sometimes used again by people that have T-tops or uh, sailboaters that want to put their antenna on the stern rail, is to use a rail mount. This has a clip which very securely grips a 7 8 or 1 inch stainless steel rail and then the antenna can screw on top. Uh, all antennas use the same type of mount. It has a 1 inch thread and so there's no, you don't have to buy one that's specifically for your antenna. They should be universal. If you have a flying bridge or if you have a solid surface and you just want to mount the antenna directly on it, you can get one of these platform mounts. They mount with uh, three fasteners, they bolt down to the hard surface, and then the antenna screws on top. You'll notice most of these antennas or antenna mounts have a hole in the center. The hole in the center is so that some of the antennas will allow you to run the antenna lead-in wire down through the center, so this allows you to have it not even be exposed a little bit. It goes right down through the center and then you drill a hole through your T-top or your hard top in the center of this and the antenna is completely uh, covered up. Many VHF antennas come equipped with 15 or 20 or 40 feet of coax cable, but some don't. If you have to add coax cable, you want to use the largest coax you could possibly handle because coax, like any wire, um, has some loss associated with it and the fatter the wire you use, the less loss you have. So this is a thinner coax. You might use this for shorter runs, maybe up to 20 feet or so. This is RG58. Um, but if you're making longer runs or if you want the absolute maximum transmit power, you want to use something like this RG8. Well, so that about wraps it up. You can see that VHF radios starting as little as $100 going up to maybe $350 provide an extra level of safety for your voyaging. They allow you to talk to the Coast Guard, other boats, lock keepers and bridge tenders and whomever else. They're really reliable, really affordable, and they really add to your safety. And of course, all of these products are available, surprisingly enough, from West Marine.